Hey guys, how are y'all doing? It's Stacy. Okay, today I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about overcoming the retin-A uglies is what I call it. Um, I've been on retin-A for three years now and I wanted I've had some experience with this, so I wanted to share with you guys some things that I found that really worked for my skin, especially during that bad phase. I have heard some people talk about this, and I have read some blogs where someone will start Retin-A, and then they will, I guess, get uh, discouraged by it because the first few weeks, their skin actually looks worse, you know, so I thought, well... Let me get on here and share my thoughts and share my experience with Retin-A and share with you guys some of the products that I actually found that really helped me overcome the process of when I first started Retin-A and to as I was moving up on my dosage of Retin-A. Okay, so let's get started. First, let's just talk about Retin-A in general. In case you don't know, Retin-A... Um, also called tretinoin is a form of vitamin A and I made some little notes and it helps with skin with your skin renewing itself faster because as we age our skin tends to slow down we don't renew our skin cells as fast as we used to which can cause our skin to look dull and dry and discolored and flaky and also we have sun damage if we don't wear sunscreen our skin will get sun damaged and some of us like myself was you know a sun worshiper and I was always tanning and things like that so Retin-A is really good with those things it really helps with discoloration and it smooths the skin and it helps with the appearance of fine lines the bonus to Retin-A I call it a bonus now the medical world says the other way around because actually Retin-A was created for acne and the bonus from that was preventing the prevention and the helping of wrinkles. Well, for me, the acne part where it helps prevent acne was a bonus because when I, um, I'll tell you a little backstory. I had decided when I was 40, uh, when I turned 40, I was going to start my Retin-A program, you know, my Retin-A treatment. Up until then, I had been taking care of my skin. I was using over-the-counter retinols, which is, um weaker than the Retin-A version, but they still work. They still work great. I really love them. Uh, but I just felt, you know, when I turned 40, it was time to move up a notch uh, in my skincare routine. But as I was doing some research on Retin-A, I found that it actually can prevent new wrinkles from forming. And that's because it firms up the skin underneath your protective layer out here. It says, Right here I said it stimulates the cells that produce collagen, the um, elastic fibrosis structure that gives skin its firmness. And it also thickens the layer of skin below the outer protective barrier, which is great. So I'm thinking, but not positive, I'm thinking that is how it prevents the new wrinkles from forming. Um, it also increases the skin cell turnover, which we talked about, and it increases blood flow to your skin and for me, I've seen my pores shrink. Um, they're not as pronounced as they was. Also, I don't get any um, acne. Uh, I haven't had any, I, okay, I was getting hormonal acne around my chin. Um, I get some on my forehead. And some of it, like after I would have a baby, I would get, uh, you know, acne that would be really hard and it would hurt and it wouldn't really come to the surface. Um, and that was really painful and it would it would leave scars and stuff so I was having a lot of trouble with that I was hoping that once I wasn't a teenager anymore I could get past the acne but that did not happen and then I found out there was adult acne and hormonal acne and acne when you're pregnant so I was thinking okay I can't get away from that so you know the bonus for the retin-a was I haven't had any acne now I will get the occasional um, you know breakout maybe right here maybe one or two nothing severe nothing like I was getting before um, so all of these things make in my opinion retin-a a fabulous product it is you know to me in my opinion it is the best skincare anti-aging product you can use for your skin and the earlier you start it the better um, now, I'm not saying somebody who just turns 20 or in their early 20s may need Retin-A, but definitely by the time you get to your late 20s and getting into your 30s, yes, 
start Retin-A because it will help correct some of that sun damage and it can prevent some new wrinkles from forming which is from sun damage. Okay, now my skin, let me tell you a little bit about my skin. My skin is dry. It's normally dry. It's dry whether I use Retin-A or not. It's just, I have dry skin. I have dry skin on my legs, my arms, you know, so I just have dry skin. So some of the side effects to Retin-A is dry skin, your skin will peel, it will turn red, it will irritate, it will be irritated. It, it just doesn't, um, it just doesn't feel really good. Okay, I wanted to, oh yeah, yeah, it doesn't, when I, okay, <sighs> calm down. When I'm going through, um, when I'm moving up, when I was moving up in my uh, strength of Retin-A, my skin would get red and irritated, which is a, a sign, you know, a side effect of Retin-A. And then I would have to cut back because I might have been progressing too fast. And I found that the slower I would give my skin time to adjust to it, the longer I would do that, the better it would respond without the redness and the burning and the irritation and stuff. Now, <laughs> When I got my prescription, I was super, super excited. I, I, I just, I was over the moon. I was like, yes, I'm going to do this. Wrinkles, get out of here, kicking butt with them, you know, because if you like makeup, you want them, you know, you want your skin smooth so you can put it on and it just, you know, it just gives a smooth application. So, um, yeah, the first time I started it, I started on the strength point zero. Point, uh, 0 0.25, which is the smallest strength that they have, or the less, would you say less? Um, it's just a low dosage. And I said, okay, so I started that and I did that. Now, I was already on retinols, which is over counter. Uh, retinols is an over counter retin A, um, and it's weaker in strength, which it, retin A is really vitamin A. So, I was already on that. My skin was already used to that, so the doctor didn't think I needed, you know, needed to go once a week on Retin A. He said I could bump it up to uh, twice a week or three times a week. So I said, okay. So I started with three times a week. I was doing it. I was using it every other day. And can I tell you, my skin just about flipped out. I started getting acne. Um, I had wrinkles show up that I didn't even know I had, that I had never seen before. My skin was dry, it was red, it was peeling, it was itching, it was burning. So I called them, they said cut back, I said alright, so I'm going to go twice a week. Well, same thing, and I was thinking, and this went on for about three to four weeks, and I was getting very frustrated because I remember telling my husband. I went into our living room and I looked in the natural light in a mirror and I looked about 20 years older than I was. My skin looked horrible and when I put makeup on it, it looked even worse. So I, I almost gave up on it. I, I thought, you know what, this is not worth it. My doctor had told me, you know, go through it. It's okay. You'll be fine. It'll pass. But I didn't believe him because of what was going on. But I decided I was determined. I wanted to push through. So what happens is the first few weeks you uh, use um, Retin-A, it causes your blackheads to dislodge and acne may develop, which is a good thing. It means that it's working and it will get in your skin will get red and irritated. So those were all normal things, but it's just nobody wants to go outside looking like that. You know, they're just like, oh, I can't do this for a month. The, you know, it just looks bad. I mean, and it, it does. So what I did was I really went on the hunt for some products that um, would help with that, that would help combat the dryness and the redness and, you know, just the irritation from it. And the first product, okay, let's talk about, um, first let's talk about cleansers, okay, I'm going to try to get through this fast so it won't be a long video. Now I got a Clarisonic Mia and this is what I use morning and night because when Retin-A start, Retin starts to work, it's turning over those dead uh, skin cells quicker and you need to have something that can remove that because you don't, you know, your whole purpose is to shed the skin. You don't want it to just kind of sit and get packed in on your skin as it's fluffing off. So I got a Clarisonic Mia <clears throat> and I use this twice a day. And 
my, okay, I would suggest any kind of creamy cleanser that you can find or a balm, um, a cleansing balm, anything like that that you can find that is moisturizing, that has um, like oats in it, something, something in your cleanser and your other ingredient and your other skincare that can soothe and calm and help repair irritated skin will really help with that. Okay, so the cleanser that I, the one that I, I really, really love, I do not have. I had a sample of it and I decided not to purchase it because it was $30, but I'm going to mention it. It's the Origins Plant Scription Anti-Aging Cleanser. It's a gentle foaming cleanser and it has conditioning oat proteins which helps dissolve dirt and impurities and release dead cells. Okay, when I used this uh, cleanser, my face felt so, so soft afterwards and it felt so creamy and so good going on my skin. It just kind of healed it. It just, when you have cream, even, you know, when you put your moisturizer on, it's just cream and it just soothes your skin. So that's one cleanser that I like. And another cleanser that I like is, um, I don't have that one, but I will leave the information in the description box below, is the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. Now this is a gentle cleanser and it's, it, it's kind of, it's not creamy, milky white, it's clear, and it reminds me of like a serum, but it is really, really conditioning. It's soft, um, well, my skin feels soft, it, it feels smooth, it feels thick, and it just, it just really cleanses my skin. It doesn't leave my skin dry when I'm done with it. Um, I really like that one also. And another one that, this is the one that I'm using right now. Is the Paula's Choice Skin Recovery, <clears throat> excuse me, Softening Cream Cleanser. Okay, this is a rich cream and it thoroughly cleanses and it reduces redness and irritation. It's great for sensitive skin and rosacea. Okay, this is what it looks like. And this is just a white cleanser. I'm not, yeah, I don't have my uh, towels, so I'm not gonna pour, uh, show you, but it's just a white cleanser. And I like this one. And this one is comparable to the Origins, but it's cheaper. And I'm going to have to leave the price down below because I can't remember off the top of my head exactly what it was. Um, but if you don't want to spend the $30 on the Origins, then I would I would say this one is really, really nice. And also the, the Soy Fresh Face Cleanser, but this one is really good. I'm using that one now. Um, okay, so those are my cleansing suggestions. Also, if you're looking for a drugstore cleanser and you don't want to spend that money, I would suggest CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser with Crematides, cer Ceramides, Ceramides, <laughs> Ceramides, I'm sorry, and Hyaluronic Acid. Okay, this is a really good one. I enjoyed this one. I used this one when I first started using Retin-A because that's what my dermatologist uh, recommended, but I like to try products and I don't really like to stick with the same thing over and over so you know I, I just switched to something else but if you don't want to spend the money it's still that one is a good creamy moisturizing cleanser and I know you're probably thinking well a cleanser is only on your skin just for a few minutes and you're right it is but it just does something for your skin when you're going through that process of retin-a even once you get because you want to work up to the zero point one which you have the, you start off at 0.25, then you work up to 0 0.5, and then you work up to uh, 0.1. So you want, you know, you want something creamy and something calming and soothing on your face, you know, while you're in that phase. But I'm, I'm at the 0.1 now, and I still, I still can get a little irritated from it, and I, I still want that creamy, calming, something just to soothe my skin. Okay, so the next thing, this was the big day. This was the product that I'm about to show you is the one that stopped all the peeling, stopped all the redness, stopped the dryness, the wrinkle, the new wrinkles that was there, which was from the dryness because the Retin-A tends to be drying. Um, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't making me have more wrinkles. It was just my skin was getting really dry. Um, all that went away. And it is fabulous. And even today, I don't use it every day anymore because I used it when I was transitioning. But even today, if my skin gets a little over irritated because I've used too many products on it, I will go back and use this stuff. 
and it is the Ultra Repair, Ultra Repair Cream Intense Hydration. And this is just a little um, sample I got. The one I bought was the one that was in a tub. It, and it was big. Um, I think it was $45, which is not bad. It lasted a really long time. But I used it morning and night. And this is what changed my life. So if you are thinking about Retin A, if you are in the process of it, you don't like it, you got off of it, but you know you you want to go back to it go get this Just, this saved my life it helped me transition it i cannot speak enough good things about first aid beauty they even make a cleanser which is creamy as a creamy cleanser and i use that one for a long time as well and i find that their products are inexpensive i just love them because they they really do hydrate and it lasts all day let me see, did I write down what's in it? Um, yes, it has colloidal oatmeal, shea butter, and crematide 3, and it instantly goes to work to smooth, calm, and heal skin. And I think that's what it is that helped so much with the peeling. I didn't have any peeling, and I didn't have any flakes or dryness once I started using this. Now, after I had been on Retin-A for a little while, I found another product that really helped soothe my skin if it was just a little irritated because it will get irritated around my nose and this was the Dr. Jarts water drop and this is a hydrating moisturizer and it has hyaluronic acid in it I really like this too because it relieves dry skin and it's far sensitive skin so this this is a odd little product because it comes out like a gel like a gooey little a gooey little gel but when once you start rubbing it into your skin it feels like water and it's so cooling it's so refreshing in the summer I love it when my like I said when my skin is irritated I use this this is a really good moisturizer also now the one that I have found the other holy grail moisturizer that I am currently using and will continue to use is the confidence in it cosmetics confidence in a cream transforming moisturizer super cream this is it I talked about it in I think my favorites monthly favorites this cream is fabulous it it has just did wonders for my skin it really did smooth out my skin it brightens it I feel like the texture is smooth I feel like it doesn't have I don't have uneven skin tone like I did before it's just it's just great and I what I did was I brought my computer in here so I could read to you guys what is in it it says that it was developed with plastic surgeons and it is let's see um it's formula transform skin with each application by boosting its natural regenerative cycle for a more supple healthier younger looking appearance and that is true I really find that my skin looks supple. I really find that it's plump. It's more plump. And I think it just looks younger. My skin just looks younger. So this is another cream. Now, would I suggest this one over this one? Maybe not in the beginning. I really like this one for the beginning stages of um, Retin-A. So if you're in the beginning, I would really try this first. And then once your skin adjusts, I would move up to this. Okay, now, another product, okay. Well, I guess I could show you guys um, the other things that I used. I, I have some serums here that I used during, you know, while I was going on my Retin-A, with my Retin-A journey, which one of them I just finished and one of them I just picked back up, but I rotate these two for my nighttime serums. And one of them is the Lancome Genique, Genifique Concentrate. And this is what the bottle looks like. I usually buy this, I buy this whenever Sephora has its sale because you can get a better deal. And I found that it lasts a long time. This lasted me a whole year. There's a little bit in there, but for some reason I can't get it out with the dropper. Um, this is just a very good moisturizing serum. I really like that one, but I think I prefer this one, the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. I used this one in the beginning of my journey for Retin-A, and then I, I stopped using it, and I wanted to try the Lancome, which the Lancome was great too, 
but I just started back on the Estee Lauder and I think I like the Estee Lauder more but you know sometimes I think they might stop working you might have to switch up your products a little bit um, and then go back to them and then it kind of like reboosts it or something but uh, yeah these are the two that I would recommend for uh, your serum because you know you need a serum with um, different things in it that I cannot think of all what's in there uh, let's see did I leave did I Give me a second. Yes. Okay. I did. I wanted to tell you guys what was in there. Um, in the Estee Lauder, it says that it dramatically reduces visible signs of aging. It approves the appearance of lines and wrinkles, hydrates skin, and creates an even tone, healthier looking, and refreshed complexion. The other thing is you got 25 plus patents and patents pending worldwide. So I kind of like that when a company has a product that has a patent on something. Um, it just tells me that it's really good. And from my experience with Estee Lauder, it really, with this, it really is good. Now, in the morning, I used um, a vitamin C and I used it from Time Timey's, time, no, Timeless. It's 20% C and E and ferric acid. And this is what it looks like. Um, it lasts about three months. It comes in this little blue jar. You can get it to last longer if you put half of it in the refrigerator. But this is a great vitamin C. And vitamin C helps to firm the skin. It is good for, it evens your skin tone and it builds uh, collagen, which firms the skin. And this guy is only $24.95, which is great. But again you have to order it every three months because after three months it's no more good so you gotta throw it away um but I did I'm not using that one anymore now I started this one three years ago and I used it for three years and I really really liked it but I got a sample <clears throat> of another one that I really like from Sephora so I'm using that one now um and I'll share that one I'm gonna do a skincare my skincare routine video and I'll share which product that one is in the next video. But, yes, I know this video was kind of scattered and all over the place. And I hope it's not too long. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope you got some information out of it that can really help you in your journey with Retin-A. And I, I really hope that you give Retin-A a, a try and make it through the ugly phase. Because, trust me, if you can get through the first month, then you will really start to love your skin. Um, it takes about, I say it takes about three to six months to really start seeing, wow, my skin looks good. This is not an overnight fix. It's not going to change your skin right away. This is something you have to stick with. This is something you have to be patient with and wait, but the results truly are worth the wait. And if anything else, you don't have any more acne, yes, I'm all for that. So if y'all have any questions, please leave them down below. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.